presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys just come up in. Uh, awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, and prowling with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. You are what you believe you are. Humans are powerful magicians. You have the power to to make yourself what you are right now, but it's not your reasoning mind that controls your power. It's what you believe. Belief is a big deal, no doubt. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 177, NASDAQ up 105, S&P's up four and a half. Gold, gold contract uh, up $20, trading at 2,437 an ounce. We have silver up $1.20 at $32.46 an ounce. Light sweet crude. Down 28 cents, seventy-nine dollars seventy-eight cents a barrel. Copper, copper is up six pennies at five ten a pound. Light sweet uh, notes and bonds. Ten-year note down four ticks, trading one oh nine oh two. Thirty-year down eight at one seventeen oh two. And king dollar, king dollar right now. Would you just appear to on me? Here we go. Up one hundred and twenty-six ticks at one oh four five seventy-one. Euro one oh eight. Again, 156 British pound, 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Let's go into the futures first and see what we have here. We just did the update with the SPY, and it looks like both of them are going to fail on price and volume. If we go into the SPY, oh, yeah, we're going to go with the lows. Okay, so we go into the SPY. That's a high volume low. So when we just came down 50 minutes ago, we're going to be back down there. That number is uh, 53.23. 10 points below where we are right now. Nine points below where we are right now. That came down. Actually, both of them came down. The second one is, is a bigger one. Look at this. Interesting, man. So they finished a small ABC. Let me, I'm going to go to the under Qs for a second because they, they were stronger. They're still stronger. But I suspect that it, that is also going to have some kind of a high volume low. Okay, so we take a look at the NQs. Yep, it's there. Okay, so not as much selling, but the bottom line, it's there. So on this one right here, okay, we just finished a 10 minute buy. So we went down on uh, 100 and, no, 13,000 contracts. We just went up on seven. The seven's going against 12. So that's saying that all said and done, more than likely we're gonna be back to the lows in both the NQs and the ES, you know, as we come into the close here. So how that shakes out. Gold, take a look at the gold contract out here, bottom line. Let me go this way. I'm gonna do the generic one for a second because gold has so many ABCs up. It's wild, man. So we take a look at the the gold contract, I'm going to put a, there we go, I got a generic one up here. Okay, so let's just see here. So if I do this, I think we've hit every, 2550 is the, the larger ABC up. So that's, that's 113 bucks away. So if I do it this way, 2000 Oh, look at this. Hold on one second. 
2,078. Okay, so that's 400. Yeah, but still, we just, what we just did, if you, I, I did this conservatively too, I only took this one. What we just did when we broke top side here, if you take the measurements from the top, and I didn't take the full bottom because I took this one here, it'd be more conservative. We've actually already hit that price projection. <laughs> Man, this thing wants to go. SIA. Let's go take a look at the silver contract because silver is on fire, man. There's no two ways about that, man. This is like... So we take a look at... The... Silver, 147,000 contracts today. That's big numbers, man. Huge for silver. So let's do this. What was this one here? This was uh, 30, that's six bucks. Okay, we're still on that one. 34.25 is the next number here. 34.25, so now I'm gonna go into the generic one because I believe it's a lot higher than that on the generic one. Meaning, the reason you do a generic one, folks, is that when you're analyzing it and you're looking at the left-hand side of the chart, which, in most cases you can do as long as they've come down, is that you want to know where the swing point is because markets love to go to swing points. And in silver, there's a few big ones. Yeah, see, we just launched, we just launched this, yep, we just launched the swing point from uh, February of 2021. Yeah, 37 bucks. Here's 35. Yeah, 35 is the next number. So 35... 37, 44. Now, if I do this, let me do this one this way. Watch this. So if I go, if I take the top of the range, 30, I'll just, I'm not going to take the bottom. Oh, my God. Seven. That's 37. So 37 is game, man. 37 is game. It, what I just did, just if you follow on here, I took this and then the bottom here when we broke. I didn't take the very bottom. When I do this, normally, it, listen, this is an art versus a science anyway. So bottom line is that I took from the top to the bottom of the consolidation. That's seven, added seven onto the 30. There's 37 and is 37 swing. So you get some real action here, man. We go take a look at the GDX because we know coming to the end of the month, the good old uh, Tim Ward number, uh, what is happening here is that this thing's going to fly, man. You know, we get a couple, well, I don't even know if we need a couple more days. You got the, the GDX is trading up today. It's broken. Let's just see here. Yeah, you broke, you broke the top of the consolidation. So the next number for the GDX is 41. And right now you're at 37. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now down 159. NASDAQ is up 118. S&Ps are up 7.5. Stay right there. Come back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, folks. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. 
This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So down, down just down 161. Nasdaq's up a buck 20. S&Ps are up uh, eight and a half. And we got our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, coming up as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see right under Featured Content, Mastering Probability. You just hit that button. You hit that subscribe. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. Six months for six ninety five, which is a savings of one hundred ninety nine dollars at twenty two percent, and one full year for eleven ninety five, which is a savings of five hundred ninety three dollars at thirty three percent. Now they all come with a thirty day money back guarantee, folks. And Steve has a huge amount of tools that he allows you to use as he uses each and every day right on his website. So as soon as you get the newsletter, bottom line, you get the tools, you get the whole ball of wax, and you are running around this market, and. Uh, you know, we got a market. There's no doubt about that, man. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? It is absolutely all about belief. Yes. <laughs> uh, there's a famous guy uh, I have a lot of respect for. I think he says, what you think about, you bring about. What you focus on grows. <laughs> yeah. And it works. Uh, that's, well, it, the, that's the thing. that's does. Folks, who knows how it works, but it works. We've all done it. Think about something yes. for a second. Just, you know, as g going through life, think about... What you've thought about sometimes, and it comes true. And you don't have to bring it any further. Life is, you know, life's not simple, but life is simple in, in ways like that. Because why think further? It, it worked, right? No, it, 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 ha look, it happened to me on Friday. All of a sudden, the last minute, I said, you know, I, I need to get a haircut sometime. And, uh, and, I, and I, you know, my guy had a free half hour, what have you. And he said, you know, I was just thinking about you this morning. Wow. <laughs> you know, there's that is so cool, man. Golfers, right? You did a great golf tournament at the PGA this weekend. Oh. And when you hear them, they, you know, they all have, look, we all have to have skills for sure. Yes. And he, you know, if you don't have any skills, you, but, you know, when you do have those skills and being able to put those to use, you have to have total belief. Nobody stands out of, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, getting ready to swing. And, and if they don't have the belief that they can hit that shot. There's no doubt. And that right. was a golf tournament. If you didn't oh, see goodness. this golf tournament, folks, coming into the close, it was amazing. It's it, like a boxing, you know, match back and forth, back oh, and forth, back and forth, right? That was, yeah. and of course, yeah. I always think of you when they're on. It's just so funny. I mean, because because we both know we're watching. You know, it's just it's just funny. But the lineup board, what happens, folks, is that when you're coming in the last three holes and the lineup board, everyone's within one. It's awesome because it's like, oh my god. You know it would have I mean? been cool. The PGA, one of the cool things about the PGA tournament is when it goes to overtime, if yes. you will, if there's a tie, it's a best of three holes. Oh, I was and wondering that because they yeah. showed that before that. I, you know, I, oh, I, did I, they? Okay, I, okay. 
No, yeah. but I didn't know. I thought that was the old thing. Do you know what I mean? They showed it on there of the, the three holes with Tiger Woods uh, got, yes, in yes, 2000, yes, okay, okay. and I didn't yeah, realize. Yeah, yeah. yeah, oh, that would have been a trip, man. Yeah, which, yeah. which uh, yeah, so, you know, and uh, Xander, he was like, I have to win it now. I don't want to go three holes yes. against, you know, against Bryson. Uh, you know, so just a great tournament. But but what you said at the beginning, it's just so important, you know, for people to, to truly wrap their head around it and believe it no matter what it is that they're doing you've got to have beliefs so i don't know if that was from a card that you know your four agreements card or, or what have you but it, but that it's, one's it's, not that was okay. just yeah and you know, it's kind of intriguing isn't it it's just like tom hey. o'brien <laughs> yeah yeah right <laughs> it's all, we know it's the same concept though right i mean oh, we've totally. all taken plenty of classes uh or whatever do you know what i mean it's it's, it's it, the bottom line folks it works i you know I agree. I common agree. sense oh. is is pretty cool yeah. man yeah so I thought I'd do is just take a quick overview with you. We, we, if we have got a few moments, we'll go to the live charts to see where we're at. But uh, I've got many of the U.S. and international indices suggesting that a top will be forming. So I heard at the beginning of your show, you've got some failures on price and volume. Yes. And some of the indexes and, and uh, ETFs out there. So for the U.S. equities, the, the ES mini, and these are the daily time frames that we're looking at, the ES mini, the NQ, and the Dow, the YM, they all have uh, TD9 count tops. The interesting thing is the Russell 2000 does not have any kind of top just yet. If we were to get a bearish reversal candle, then I'd have a sell the D point, which would be nice because then we'd have all four in in unison out there. Yes. If we take a look at internationally, now the Shanghai index last night negated its TD9 count top. So that no longer has a top. The Hang Seng uh, actually went ahead and formed its TD9 count top. So that suggests that price should pull back to about the 19,120 level. The Nikkei is trading in a descending price channel to the downside and price found resistance in essence right at the top of that channel. The foot in the UK has a TD9 count top. The DAX has a Rhodesman Dominicator top. Now, in the case of the DAX, we need to see a close below 18,705 or price start trading below that. Okay. To get downside traction. So, overnight, you know, when people wake up in the morning, they can see how the DAX is trading. If it's below 18,705, um, where the DAX is, as you pointed out to me, which is very cool, the DAX and the NDX 100 have such a good correlation. So yes. So, we you know, wake up in the morning, you start looking at your screens, four, five, six, whatever time it might be. If prices trade below 18,705, that's just another indication that the NDX 100 uh, should be forming a top. And if we take a look at daily T9 count tops, they're present in the spies, in the Qs, the Dow Diamonds. The uh, now the XL cat. I don't know where it's trading right now, Tom. But if it closes above two thirteen eighty one, it will negate its TD nine count top. That's the number one sector inside the S and P five hundred. So that close is interesting. The financial sector that's got a TD nine count top. That should take price back to about forty one fifty, uh, forty one seventy five. The communication sector, if it closes the day above eighty two sixty nine, and I know it was trading above that maybe about fifteen twenty minutes ago. That would negate its TD nine count top. The real estate sector's got a TD nine count top. The S MHs, unless they close above 235.11, they've got a TD9 count top. And gold also has one at 24.2740. So if today's close is above that level, which it looks like it may be, it'll negate that signal. Window. When a TD9 count top gets negated, especially when it's almost like right away, in the case of gold that formed on, on Friday, it tells you about a very strong upward momentum move to the upside. Now, you didn't need me to tell you that. Um, you know, you've been telling that to, to listeners on the show. Uh, several of the NDX 100 top weighted stocks We've got TD9 count tops. Microsoft would be negated with a close above 425.42. Uh, Apple was trading. I don't know if it's still trading, Tom, above 196.65, but okay. that's a TD9 count top level. NVIDIA has a sell the D point top. I think they're out with earnings. Uh, either Tomorrow, today or, uh, Wednesday. To, yep. Uh, Wednesday. Okay. So it's going to be interesting to see how that trades. Avgo's got a TD9 count top, as does Pepsi. Now, Netflix is going to negate its topping signal. That's suggesting that this should continue to move higher. Uh, Cisco's got a nice TD9 count top. The GDX, much like gold, it has one. It formed on Friday. And so a close above 36.89 today, which it looks like that's already in the bag. I mean, we got 35 minutes to go. Anything can happen. That's telling you about a strong upward momentum move, just as silver is, as long as it closes the day above 31.85. So if we go to the live charts, and I'm going to move over to my other screen. It'll take just a moment to do that. We're going to look at four panels out here, and this is covering the S&P 500. So we got the cash index on the left-hand side. You can see now, folks, when, when a TD9 count pattern forms a top or a bottom, it can be either bar 8, bar 9, or bar, uh, the bar following 
uh, bar number nine. And it has to be, in this case here, for a high. One of those three bars has got to make the high. In this case here for the S&P 500 was the bar following bar number nine. So that's got a top. You can see the ES Mini, which we've just covered. That's got a top. If you take a look at the SPIs, that's got a top. And also the equal weighted ETF. And that's for me, that's really important because when the equal weighted ETF is giving you a topping signal, that is it's just an additional confirmation to what we're looking at. So that's in the S&P 500. Real quickly here, I'll switch over to this set of charts. Here's the Russell 2000. Again, no top here. And so that's that's kind of the perplexing thing for me. Do you see any kind of top in any of the tools that you've got for the IWM or the Russell? Well, you know, in fact, I want to I want to stay with the, the first one to do because you know it's cool. Because remember, what had happened is that they had tops too, like a couple weeks ago, but it blew yes. by them, which is important to understand, folks. So as Steve said. They go buy them, it's showing the strong. Now, can they go buy them twice? I don't know. <laughs> I love it. Hey, thanks, Tom. Look for the show tomorrow, Steve. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. <coughs> Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Tigers, you've seen his show, you've learned from his webinars, and now it's time to trade side by side with him. Join Larry Pesavento for the second month of his new service, Live Trading Fridays. Hosted in the Tiger's Den trading room on Discord, Larry has analyzed a number of commodities and indices, placed profitable trades, and explained his method. Whether you're new to trading or are a seasoned market veteran, trading side by side with a titan like Larry Pesavento will only enhance your game. Utilizing Fibonacci retracements and ABCD structures, Larry provides decades of insight into when to place trades, when to exit, when to ignore, and so much more. Learning is doing. So if you're serious about learning technical analysis and becoming profitable in this uncertain market, Live Trading Fridays is a must-have tool in your arsenal. Live Trading Fridays occur every second and fourth Friday of the month, so trading events for this month are May 10th and 24th. If you're serious about trading, we'll see you there. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tom O'Brien Show is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. 
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 173. The Nasdaq's uh, up 124, and S&Ps are up 8. Now, we go to the Dow Industrials. This gets uh, really intriguing here, particularly after speaking with Steve. We had all these TD and 9 counts. And so what had happened, folks, okay, I think it was like three weeks ago, uh, the same thing, you know, was occurring. The TD and 9 counts were up there. Um, they blew by them, and now we have them again. And now the cool thing is here is that, see, when they blow by them, just as Steve says, you get a stronger market. Well, can they do it twice? We'll find out. I don't think they're going to. The reason being, when you take a look at this, see this Dow, the, the Dow, this is, you know, a little bearish occurrence. And we know that the S&P and the NASDAQ already has it. Now, I'm, I'm certainly not looking for a, a monster pullback, but I am looking for a pullback. That, that's what it comes down to. Because when you get that many failures, we're at the high. We're still over the high in the Dow, meaning, uh, let's see, maybe not, 9, 988. No, no, 888. No, we're not. Okay, so this is going to get interesting. Hold on one second. This is, this is a failure not only of that, but it's going in the lower range again. Yeah, if we if you close uh, 39 to 884, yeah, 889, rather, you'd be in the lower range again. I mean, you just, but that's, that's a failure is a failure. Now, check this out. This is what's wild. This number here, J.P. Morgan, this is quite, a, that is a pullback, man. That is a pullback and a half, too. Um, we got, you hit an all-time high of 205. And then the bottom line is that then you go down $8.70, man, with volume. Okay? And so this also, yeah, this also bottom lines in the lower range. Let's see, BAC. So, so BAC. Yeah, see, Bank of America, it's not bad. Citigroup. This may have to do with uh, Jamie Dimon. They have, they're having their, one of their get-togethers today, and the question was about succession, and Dimon said it's well on its way. The last time they asked him that it was five years or something. Uh, bottom line, now he's saying it's well on its way. Whatever that is, the bottom line is, is bearish, because uh, J.P. Morgan, I mean, that, that, is, uh, <laughs> that is not only a bearish candle. I mean, that's a... That's a bearish engulfing. One second here. Let me look at this. JP Ma J JP. Yeah, that's a beauty, man. It's gonna eat three six it's eaten six days, man. Yeah. And then it doesn't necessarily have high volume low, but bottom line is that that's saying that thing wants to go south. So, you know, calendar-wise, folks, what we are, let's just look at this for a second. Um, okay, calendar, where are you? The 20th. So, yeah, see, this, this, would be, this would be a good time for a small pullback because you don't have window dressing. This is the long weekend, so we don't have any work on Monday, the 27th. That's a week from today. Then you're going to come into window dressing. So it has to, like, the 30th to have a, some kind of a pullback. We'll see how that shakes out, man. Let's go to the, the copper market, HG1, because copper, this thing is on a tear, man. And it doesn't look to me like this thing's going to stop, I can tell you. I think I, I did the, let me do this number again. I think, it would, would I, did I go to 545? I'm trying to figure out what I did. Six of five forty-five. Okay, so I see what's going on. One second. This was an ABC up. That's what this was because it did a point six one eight. Okay, so that's how I'm going to do it. So the point six one eight, we take five oh one. Oh yeah, three bucks. Unreal. Yeah, six thirty-five, man. Six fifteen. 615. That is a monster, man. That is no doubt a monster. And, if, you know, if, if you can take silver. I mean, the silver stocks are, like, off to the races. Heckler, you know, Heckler had that low that was established in there, that low. And once it took off from the low of 330, you're at, it's almost a double right now. You're at 626. 
And this is an ABC up. Yeah, so this is, uh, let's see, 590. You got 360 at A to B. That's eight bucks. You're right now, you're 626. Eight bucks is the number. Where are you? Eight. Uh, what's that going to be, the high? No, it's not the high, but eight bucks is the number. And then if you take a look at this, Heckle is approaching. What's this? Heckler. Whoops. Yeah. Heckler's approaching a bust out here, man. And it's right at it, too. So this is good. There's good volume in this today. This is approaching a bust out. And that bust out will be saying that, yeah, guess what? You're going to go to 760. So it's a big number. E-T-H-E. -E. I have a call out. Is that what you said? Oh, okay. Um, one second. How did I miss this? Oh, I got it. Steve in Nashville. Hey, Steve, what's going on, brother? Tom, it's Duncan Steve. Hey, Duncan Steve, man. <laughs> hey, you wouldn't you believe doing, how many Duncans we have in Florida. Oh, my God, they took <laughs> over all of Florida. I'm not kidding, man. Hey, it's... you know what else is down there now? I heard in Naples, and maybe five or six of them, is um, Kelly's Roast Beef. That we have one here, too. They opened it, They yeah. opened about three miles away from my office, man. I haven't been there yet, but I already had someone bring yeah. me clams, clam bellies. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Hey, hey, I know. I was going to ask you how you are, but I know you're great now that Tommy's great. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I got, and, uh, I'm yeah. stuffed up right now, but yeah, no. That's yeah. quite a deal and, uh, he's going through. Yeah. Of course, all the, all the dinners as well. Yeah. Great group of people in there that uh, I just like interacting with. Great. Well, I appreciate uh, it. And everybody that fills in has been doing a fantastic job. Thank you. I appreciate hey, yeah, it. My, man. my question is on Amazon, not in it. I did have the 2X direction uh, long, but I got out of that, thank God. Okay. Um, just looking at it, in the past week, two weeks at least, I think it's not been participating with anything else. And I'm wondering, uh, I forget the fourth one, but what's the phases, accumulation, markup, something, and distribution, right? Yeah, you got accumulation, markup, mark down, uh, distribution, markdown. Is, is it simply in one of those phases, perhaps? No, I don't think it's in a markdown yet. Like what, what I do think, though, is that this is going to retest the 182. Oh, 174, rather, not the 182. The 182 is the high of those high volume bars down there, Steve, from the. Uh, yeah. 30th of 30th. April. I think the okay. bottom of that consolidation is game. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Okay, I'll watch that area. Yeah. Duncan's right. everywhere now, Steve. Okay. Thanks so much, man. I better buy a franchise. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. 
At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow's up for 184. NASDAQ is uh, up 112. Net S&Ps are up 5.5. Uh, E-T-H-E, right? Is that it? Let's see. ETH e E-T-H-E. There it is. Grayscale Ethereum, Ethereum Trust. So let's go, go take a look at this one, one of the tigers out here. They get the low out here. It's seven dollars fourteen cents. The high is thirty-five. We're trading it twenty-seven. Now this is a you know a, an ET. It's either an ETF or an ETN. Bottom line is that um, this trades off Ethereum. So let's go take a look and see what we have here. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, look at the size of that. Ethereum must be up good. Holy cow. Okay. But, the, you know, that's interesting. It, it's, it's up good, but the volume's not that great. But let me put this back on a weekly for a second. Okay. So... Well, I mean, it looks like this thing does want to go back to 35, man. Um, that was the high that was established out here. When did I get this? About three months ago. Because it, it definitely broke that downtrend out here. Excuse me. Broke the downtrend out here today. So we'll see how that shakes out. Um, but it does look like it wants to go to a higher price. Uh, NVIDIA. Let's go take a look at NVIDIA. So NVIDIA is going to be the big move this week in the NDX 100. They are going to be coming out after the market on Wednesday. They are looking to do, NVIDIA is up $23.73 right now. They're looking to do $24 billion and bring $5.65 to the line. Now, the thing that's intriguing here, this is the first time that we're not talking an explosion of gross sales are the bottom line because I, let me just go through this for you for a second so you can kind of see this the last four quarters folks went like this 7.2 million in the first quarter 13.5 million in the second quarter 18.18 billion in the third quarter 22.18 billion in the fourth quarter now we're in the first quarter again fiscal fiscal quarter this is Bottom line, you can see they're only they're saying that they're going to do 2.5 billion more, and that's going to be the least amount in a long period of time. We'll find out because the bottom line is that when they did 22.18 billion last time, they were supposed to only still do like 19 or 20 billion. So, okay, so that's fundamentally. Now let's take a look at it technically because we know that there's tigers that have Nvidia out here, and what you do have on NVIDIA today is this. You get 28 million shares. Now, NVIDIA has a high volume high at 974. We made it to 952 today. Now, the cool thing would be if NVIDIA could hit the high before they come out with their numbers. The reason for that is that whether you're bullish or bearish, 
it'll give you more information. Now it hasn't, okay? So we'll see if this can basically nail this tomorrow or the next day. I suspect it's gonna go for it, you know? And, you know, if it doesn't go for it and just lays up at that high, then it's a lot harder, you know, basically analyze and saying, okay, you're gonna blow away the high or are you just gonna bottom line, give it up in spades? Because what we do know, <laughs> and this was crazy, because the last time that they actually came out with numbers, was it right here? 498. Yeah, it was. <laughs> when they came out with numbers, they were trading 500, 498. It went down 20% and then went up 300%. Yeah, you heard that right, folks, okay? They came out with their numbers in, yeah, it's the last time they came out with their numbers. They came out, NVIDIA's trading at 500. It goes down to 400. Well, I guess it's not, that's not 300%. Well, it's 150%. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it just takes off like a rocket ship. You know, so we'll see how this shakes out, man. I mean, NVIDIA is going to definitely be running the NDX 100, uh, you know, for a few days. That's, that's for sure, because that, that, it's a very large composite, uh, component of it, number one. And the, um, so the optionality of it, meaning what the option traders are looking at right now, they're looking at a 100-point a move. Well, let me see. No, NVDA. It might be a 90-point move. No, it's a 95-point. No, 90. It's, a, it's an 81-point move. It's, it's a... Yeah, 81 to 90. That's what they're looking for. So there's going to be some real action on here, man. That is big. Dollar. Let's go to the dollar because this dollar is still hanging tough. And it's in the lower range. It, it failed on Friday to stay to get in the higher range. The way it's trading today, however, it's flat. Well, it's up 147 ticks, okay? But what you actually had is that you rejected 104, 394, and we're a couple hundred ticks above it. So that's almost saying like, okay, you're gonna go for it again? Because the, the number to keep your eye on in the larger range is 104, 724. And we're not that far away from it right now. So you get in the higher range, that would basically set up with the rest of the, the, the XA, I mean, the, the Qs, the diamonds, the Dow Industrials, that had set up a pullback because this market cannot stand, well, can't say it can't stand because we've had the dollar high and the market keeps going. But the correlation is just about direct, meaning that the dollar goes higher, market has selling. Dollar goes lower, you're off to the races in a monster way. No two ways about it. We go take a look at the, um, let's go take a look at Barrick because because Newmont finally got off the floor. That's, that's getting big action. Barrick is still having a hard time, which is pretty amazing, man. You know, because the, I mean, you got a good operator on Barrick. Uh, but the bottom line is that they got fleas somewhere, man. <laughs> uh, because Barrick itself, so look at this, man. Barrick hasn't even really, no, they haven't. It ha Barrick hasn't broken its downtrend yet. How, is, how weird is that? And because every gold stock, folks, is, not every gold stock, but just about every gold stock has been, like, powerful beyond belief. And Barrick's not. You know, came in with monster volume last month. You know, so maybe we'll get there, but Barrick has a lot of work to do, man. I mean, you're talking about a huge amount of work to do. They, next time they come out with the numbers is August 8th. So that means that they, they must do it every six months then. No, they can't do it every six months. They're in the U.S. Well, no, it's not a six months. So they're looking... Barrick's looking, this will get interesting too, because if it's correct, you'll get some action on Barrick. So what's happening, Barrick is jumping up from the 2.7 billion last quarter to 3.2 billion. And the bottom line is going from 19 cents to 25 cents. And it looks like they might have a little clear sailing from there, but it's surprising. It's surprising that uh, it's not a stronger stock right now. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow's down 191. NASDAQ guy right now is uh, up 98. Uh, S&P is a... Uh, up two and a half. So I have this Bannerman Energy, but I can't find it in the U.S. So I know, I know it's probably on the on the sheets. But anyway, uh, we can pull it up in Australia because it's from Australia anyway, and give you an idea of what's going on with the stock. So if we take a look at it. The low in Australia is one nineteen. The highs four seventy nine today. They're in Perth. Now this company doesn't take in. This company only takes in, I see, they're in uranium mining. Okay. So it takes in, well, it's, it's taken in nothing in 2024. Zero dollars. Lost $2.24. So it's pretty amazing that it's up at all. But I get it because it's uranium. Because uranium, nuclear, though, that's been on a run. There's no doubt. Let's take a look. Okay, so... You just took the swing point out, but that's a monthly. Yeah, it's, listen, man, this is not a bad looking deal. I mean, it looks like it, this, in Australia, it looks like, you know, the, your next stop here is somewhere around seven bucks and you're at 472. It took the swing out. It doesn't have a lot of volume, but I got this on a monthly here. Let's do this. Let's put this on a weekly quickly. Okay, so the last high up here. I see. Yeah, you're going to need a lot of it. It's, you can't, no, that's all right. It negated it. Yeah. 
this doesn't look that bad. Um, uh, yeah, you need, let's see. Yeah. Okay, so we're definitely going to have a failure on price and volume on all the indices. Uh, they're pulling back down. Let's go. Yeah. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy and Jacob tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.